What's up guys, it's Phoebe. I'm here today at Disney's Boardwalk Resort. I'm here with my friend Kristen, and we are eating at Trattoria Al Forno today. It's a really good Italian restaurant on the boardwalk. I'm really excited because I've heard great things about their breakfast too, so I wanted to bring you guys along. With that being said, if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe, and let's go have some fun and try some food. We are all checked in right now and waiting on our table. If this place is as good as I remember, I have no idea how we were able to get reservations. So at 9 a.m. this morning, Kristen booked a 10.45 a.m. reservation, which is unheard of to me. Now, right here is the entrance to Trattoria and you have the main dining hall right there. And directly across from it is actually a bar right here. It's Abracadabar. I don't believe it's open yet. I think it opens later this evening, but that's also really cool. This is also the restrooms that you'll use for Trattoria as well. And of course, joining me is my friend Kristen, right down Main Street, the ultimate foodie. So when I'm like, oh, I'm not a bacon person, she can tell you if it's actually Good. I'll tell you guys. I'll, I'll give you guys all the good beats. Trust me, we all know you will say it like it is. Say it like it is. So we got a nice little 10:45 reservation. What's really nice about Trattoria is they serve breakfast until 11:30. A lot of places in Disney World, I feel like, stop serving at 10, 10:30. So I never get to really have breakfast anywhere because I'm always sleeping. So I'm excited about this. Um, the menu is just one page, but. I'm okay with a condensed, concise menu because that usually means everything they have on it is going to be a hit. Now, something really cool about Trattoria is this used to be character dining. So, almost the same menu, but they had Ariel, Eric, Rapunzel, and Flynn here, which, what an elite combination. I'm so sad that they're not here. But usually for character breakfast, they would be lacking in the food and flavor department and quality. However, this was one of the few exceptions. The food was just as phenomenal as the experience. I really wish they'd bring those characters back. It was so cute. They brought like little dream cards to your table. And I love seeing the princes with the princesses. So, but with that being said, still incredible food. So I'm excited to try it again and see how it is. So for my entree, I think I'm gonna go with the steak and eggs. It sounds really good. Comes with the breakfast potatoes and egg and steak. So that sounds really good. It also comes with a hollandaise sauce. Kristen, would you like to share what you got with the table? I got the al forno eggs and the tiramisu bread pudding. So let's take a look at that. Tiramisu bread pudding with mascarpone cream, espresso drizzle, served with bacon or sausage. And then you said what? The al forno eggs? Yes. Cage-free eggs, polenta, fennel sausage, spiced tomato sauce, country bread. Wow. Two entrees and an iced coffee. Yes. This is Trattoria Al Forno special blend of artisan coffee, cream, and sweetener, and it's served over ice. I wasn't going to get this, I was going with the water, and then I heard Kristen and our waiter talking about how good it was, if it's like it was pre-COVID. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna try it. All right, here we go. Iced coffee, that's a 10 out of 10 for me. A lot stronger than I thought it would be. I wouldn't, I wouldn't guide you wrong. Also, I have dined here for dinner before, and I got a pasta dish. I think it was enoki, but their dinner is also phenomenal. So I used to always get the lasagna here for dinner, and I loved it. Um, however, recently, like in the last six months, I'd say they changed the lasagna. It's different. Um, so now my go-tos are either the chicken parm or I do a little menu hack with the shrimp scampi that they have on the menu. Okay, but yeah, you would agree dinner here is pretty dinner here is great. solid. Yeah. It's, it's the only place at Disney World that I will eat Italian food and like it. <laughs> Whoa, that's tough. Good grief. Food came. Look at all of this. That one kind of looks, looks the best so to me. Good, it does. That looks so good. I'm going to eat. I'm gonna take it. <laughs> this is the tiramisu bread pudding. This is the steak and eggs. And what is this again? Al forno eggs. Al forno eggs. On this one, this is one of Kristen's. Our server talked about how it almost is like a chocolate croissant base for the tiramisu. And then it has the espresso baked into it. 
and it comes with your choice of a side of bacon or sausage. That is a lot of bacon for a side. It is. Usually it's like one it's to two pieces. That's like the whole pig. I'm not gonna lie guys, this one looks really good. This is her Al Forno eggs, and it looks like it comes with, um, the country bread is on top. I really like their plating too. All of the dishes are really well plated and beautiful. They smell good, they look appetizing, and they probably are also delicious, so I'm excited. You may eat. I may eat? <laughs> oh, thank you. All right, I've got Kristen's stamp of approval to start eating. I think for my first bite, I'm going to try to get a little bit of everything. I'm trying to do the thing where it zooms in on it. That does not look good though. I got a little bit of everything. Cheers. I got such a big bite, but that was so good. I'm trying everything individually now to see how it is. So we're gonna try the steak first. Little onion ring. I'm gonna try the eggs and the potatoes together. <laughs> the best bite is definitely everything together with the fried onion, the steak, the eggs, the potatoes. All the flavors work really well. The saltiness with the savoriness. So definitely eat it all together. I'm realizing now though, I don't know if I have the hollandaise sauce in this. I see some type of liquid on the bottom, but I think that's from my sunny side egg being being broken. Also, you can get the eggs however you'd like them. Sunny side up is really good though, because once that egg is broken, you can use it to dip everything in. But I imagine that wouldn't be as necessary if you had the hollandaise. I don't know, I may ask about it and just see if I can get like a little side of it. It did say it came with it, but I'm not tasting any hollandaise. The steak is very flavorful. It's definitely cooked a little past medium, so I didn't get as much of the tenderness as I'd like, but still a really good bite. Like 45 minutes later, this is still good and does not taste watered down, even with ice in it. Like, I'm confused. I'm taking one of Kristen's pieces of bacon. No, I don't have enough. That's good bacon. If you like really crispy bacon without having to ask for it, Trattoria Al Forno has that for you. That looks like such a good bite. It's going to be. Wait, I gotta, I got, oh, I, my strap is in. Focus, focus, focus. Focus in. It's focused on you, not on the bread. I tap your screen. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. Where is Guys, this is episode 29 of Phoebe Doesn't Know How to Work a Camera. <laughs> it still won't focus and that's the only thing in the shot. Focus. Put your hand behind it. Like. <laughs> Bro, I give up. I am trying Kristen's Al Forno eggs right now. So I'm getting my, I'm getting my little piece of country bread. Wait, I need to show this process because this is so much fun. Hold on. So I have my little bread right here. I'm gonna set it there. Good. Oh my goodness. That is different than I thought it would be. Okay, I don't need that much. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna set it on there. That looks like a nice bite. All right. I just dropped my fork. And I dropped my bite. Did you? Oh no, rest in peace. It's my fork. Guys, if you drop silverware, pick it up. Be a good person. Just don't use it again, that's nasty. This is, this is, take, this is take two of getting a bite. We have our bite. It smells so good. It, like it smells like a really nice red sauce pasta. Cheers. That is annoyingly good. Our server also recommended trying the steak with the Al Forno eggs. So that's my next combination. Wow. Dropping some of this on the table was a crime after trying it. These Al Forno eggs, guys, I, I don't know what, I don't know what else to say to make you realize how good they are. I'm going again. Doing it with the steak is a really solid idea too. Like, I don't think you could eat this any incorrect way. Don't let, if you're not a fan of fennel, 
I'm not, and so I saw fennel sausage, and I think that's one of the reasons why I steered away from it. You don't really taste any of that, and the sausage can be easily avoided if you're not a fan and you still wanna try it. The spiced tomato sauce really just tastes like a phenomenal marinara red sauce that you would put on pasta. So that's how I would describe it. Once again, when I heard spiced, I'm thinking spicy, more of a kick, more of a punch, which I wasn't sure if I wanted or not, but it's a phenomenal dish. As much as I love the steak and eggs, if I came back here, I would get the al forno eggs. It smells so good. <laughs> She's about to try the tiramisu bread pudding. What are we thinking? So I don't get too, too much like coffee espresso tiramisu flavor, okay. but the bread pudding itself is really delicious. It's very, very moist. And the fact that they use the chocolate croissants in there right. for the bread pudding itself is just like the perfect touch. Because it used to be brioche. Yeah, it used to be made with brioche and they just recently switched it to be made with chocolate croissants. And I think it was a great switch. Nice. We are about wrapped up here and I have really, I have really enjoyed breakfast here. And like I said, another perk of it, it serves until 11.30. So if you are not an early riser like myself, um, you can still come here and get one of the best breakfasts on Disney property, in my personal opinion. Everything I tried on this table was delicious. The iced coffee was so good too. I'm still drinking it an hour and a half later and it still does not taste watered down. Like, that's so weird. Maybe the ice is fake. Maybe it has magic in it. Disney magic in the ice and it doesn't water down your drinks. I'm telling you, this is magical ice made by Mickey Mouse himself. And why is my ice still solid? Look, our water had ice in it. Look, the ice is completely melted. Why? Why is this not melted? Anyways, favorite of the morning, definitely the Al Forno eggs, but like Kristen said, the tiramisu bread pudding was still really good. Get the cream in that bite so you get the most tiramisu flavor. And then my steak and eggs was wonderful. Wish that steak was a little more tender, but still great flavor. I love the potatoes with it. I'm always going to eat breakfast potatoes. Overall, such a good breakfast. I am so happy and satisfied. Final thoughts. Final thoughts. This is going to be one of my new go-to breakfast places. Ooh. I think the menu is super unique. It's easy to find a reservation for. Like Phoebe said, you can come a little later than some of the other restaurants. And then you can walk over to Epcot after. Yeah. I don't know, this is a good spot. All right, well, I think that is gonna wrap up today's vlog. Like I've said a hundred times, really good breakfast. I will be coming back here probably quite a bit. I think it's great value. You get huge portion sizes too. I'm taking home basically a full box between my entree and Kristen's Al Forno eggs because obviously I'm gonna take that home and eat it for lunch today. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for coming along with me. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss my next videos and I will see you guys next time.